If you're a subscriber to this channel, you've probably heard me say more than once that my favorite plugin for Final Cut Pro is Motion. Well, Pixelmator Pro is fast becoming my favorite plugin for Motion. Why? Well, it's an excellent full featured image editing application, including using artificial intelligence to do background removal and machine learning to do object removal. It's also got a great vector tool set. It exports motion projects and it's cheap under 40 bucks. And that's not a subscription. Now I did a Mac break studio late last year when the motion export capability was added to Pixelmator Pro. Since then, we've gotten tons of requests to do more training on how you can use Pixelmator Pro in conjunction with motion. So I'm happy to say we've just released a brand new tutorial that teaches you exactly that. In this 90 minute tutorial, you'll learn how to create a shape based composition in Pixelmator Pro and then animate it in motion. You will learn how to work with existing vector artwork like logos and stock artwork, and you'll learn how to convert bitmaps to vectors. It's on sale right now. So check out the video and all the details at this page the links below today on MacBreak studio. I'd like to give you a taste of what's possible with this Pixelmator Pro to motion workflow. So here I have a logo in the Adobe Illustrator format. I'll press the space bar so we can quick look it. And this is a very common scenario where you may have been given a logo by a client and they're asking you to animate it or incorporate it into a composition. Well, you can import Adobe Illustrator or PDF vector files directly into motion. I'll just drag this right in. And that's great. If you scale them up over hundred percent, it's going to look pixelated. But if you select the underlying media in the media tab and go to the media tab of the inspector and turn off fixed resolution, then those vector objects will remain nice and crisp. In other words, they will continuously rasterize, which is great. I'll go ahead and reset those transform properties. However, it's still a single object. You don't have access to the separate elements for animation. It would be great if you had access to each separate element as a vector object. And while you could go back to Adobe Illustrator and export each of those as separate elements, maybe you don't have access to Adobe Illustrator. And besides, even if you did that, even though you'd have separate elements and they'd be vector, you could scale them up. They still wouldn't be motion shapes. If there were motion shapes, you could do much more with them. You could turn on and off outlines and fill. You could access the control points to change the shape. You could animate them with all of the different shape behaviors. So what if we could take a vector based logo and separate it into its components and have each of those components be a motion shape? Well, in Pixelmator Pro, you can create and export motion shapes. It has a full set of shape creation tools like the pen tool, a freeform pen tool, a variety of smart shapes and a huge library of shapes. And in the tutorial, I show you how to build an entire shape based composition and then animate that in motion. But what if like in our case, you have an existing shape? Well, you can't import an illustrator file directly into Pixelmator Pro. However, if you convert that illustrator file into a .svg or scalable vector graphics file, you can then work with it. In the tutorial, I show you my favorite way that you can convert vector objects in the illustrator or PDF format into SVG files for free. There are many ways to do this, but not all of them work the same. But once you've converted your logo into an SVG, you can bring it directly into Pixelmator Pro. And the cool thing is if we open it up, we have access to each of the separate elements. Not only do we have access, these separate elements are shape objects. So they're editable right here in Pixelmator Pro. I'll undo that. You can also export them to motion as motion shape objects, file, export, motion project. So I'll export that. And then I'll open up that motion project. And here nested into several groups, 
we have each of those separate elements as motion shapes. So once again, we can edit those points if we wanted to. I'll undo that. We could change the fill color. We could add an outline. And then we could animate each of these elements with any behaviors, including the shape behaviors, like right on. I'll tap O to create an out point. I'll change its speed to ease both. Let's turn off our rulers. And then we've created a little animation in a few seconds. And here's an example where I've created a more complete animation with some background elements and a push in at the end that takes advantage of the infinite resolution of these motion shapes. In the timeline, you can see I've used several write on behaviors to write on the R and each of the ripples underneath it. And then I have a little randomized shape behavior right here for when the final ripple comes in and the little rays shoot out. So by using Pixelmator Pro to convert our flat vector single image file into separate motion shapes, we can create all kinds of interesting animations in motion. The tutorial is full of tips and tricks that will save you time and energy when you're working with converting artwork to prepare it for animation in motion. Please leave us a comment below on what you thought of today's episode and any other topics you'd like us to cover. We'll see you next time here on MacBreak Studio.